Hey Toxic Squad, welcome back to Legendaries Unleashed. Today we're going to be opening this Island Guardians GX Premium Pin Collection box that was released at the end of last year. It actually was released as an exclusive item to both Toys R Us Canada, and I think the equivalent version was it came out as an exclusive for Target in the US. Correct me if I'm wrong on that, but I think it was Target that got the exclusive on this one. Now, this is basically just a tweaked version of the Island Guardian GX Premium Collection Box, which was released in more locations. Regular retailers were able to get their hands on those. And what came in that one was very similar. You had a jumbo card, but the box was more of a Tapu Lele box. So you had a Tapu Lele jumbo and you had a Tapu Lele coin. You didn't get these pins, which is why this is the premium pin collection, but you did get this cool mat with the other version. And that's, that's basically the differences, guys. You had the same amount of booster packs and you had the exact same two promos that come in this one. It's just a little bit different with the Tapu Finny and some some pins here. That's that's basically the difference. I don't even know if the stores still have these. This thing at Toys R Us Canada was ridiculously priced. I think the original price tag on it was $79.99. I did not pay that because that is just a crazy amount of money. I, I got this thing on sale because I wanted to get my hands on those pins and I didn't get a chance to open my other premium collection box on the channel so I thought this one would be fun to open because we, we should at least open one of the two versions on the channel. I have opened the other one but uh, yeah, so we do have all of our goodies here and quickly before we go ahead get on into this guys You know what time it is. It is time for squad shout out and today's squad shout out is going to go to Ming tube I want to thank you so much for being part of the Toxa squad and for being a Awesome part of this community and for you know keeping commenting and being so active on the channel. Thank you so much Ming tube back to our Plastic full of all of this stuff here. Oh, it's gonna kill me getting these promos out, but we can do it. Let me try it this way. Oh, okay. It's it's not as bad as I thought. There's little plastic behind it, so you can just pop the plastic out and pop the promo out. So that's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I think the jumbo card might be the most difficult out of the whole thing to actually get out of here, but we'll just pop that over and uh, drop everything out. So many goodies, so many pins. That's why I wanted it too, guys. Pins, pins, pins. More pins for the pin collection. You know how it is. Uh, I do need to get these two promos sleeved up though because even though I have a copy already, gotta keep Tapu Finny and Tapu Lele all set. Do you have our jumbo card? It feels like, guys, like I feel like everything has a jumbo card these days. That's just how it feels. Everything seems to have a jumbo card. All of them. But we do have, it's at least a new jumbo card, a Tapu Finny GX. I, uh, gosh, I don't, I don't know what to do. I need a bind, maybe a binder. Has anybody actually found like a binder or pages that actually fit those? Because I'd, I'd love to put them in a sleeve or something to keep them protected. Right now I've just got them in a stack and it makes me sad that they're just kind of hanging around with no protection. We do have our Tapu Fini GX, which is actually, it's an alternate art. It's not a promo. I think I might've called it a promo, but alternate art from Burning Shadows. And then we have our Tapu Lele GX, which is an alternate art from Guardians Rising, of course. Have our coin. Let me, there we go, get it turned the proper way. Our Tapu Finny coin. Do love a good new coin. We're going to get into these pins here. I feel like, okay, let's start off with Tapu Coco because this box, oop, there we go. So this box you get this box, you pay all this money for this box, and they give you the same Tapu Coco pin that we got in, like, the smaller pin collection. So we we do already have this. They have already released this pin. 
which was like the first thing I noticed. And then we have Tapu Lele, which do not have a Tapu Lele pin. Have our ooh, Tapu, Tapu Fini. I do like that now I'm going to have one of each Island Guardian pin. Like I said, guys, the reason I got this, gotta have one of each Island Guardian. So we do have those really cool pins, have our cards, all the other cool stuff that you don't get in the other box. Have eight booster packs with, oh gosh, so much XY. We have Ancient Origins Evolutions, should be two of each of those, two Lost Thunder and two Forbidden Lights. So. It's really cool to see two Forbidden Light in this one. Really funny to see four packs of X and Y. Four packs of X and Y. Why not? Lol. Anyway, let's go ahead, get into these, see what we can do. Some really cool cards from Ancient Origins, some really beautiful full arts. And as you know, not a set that I was really around for when I started collecting. Have opened some here and there, but not the most. I think Breakthrough was the one where I really got into it. Have a Reverse Magikarp. And I did... Oh, I need to be fired. I just need to be fired. I keep doing the Sun and Moon pack trick. This is why it should be all Sun and Moon packs in these boxes because I am incapable of bouncing between pack tricks. That's it. That's the only, only reason. Only reason. And we have three more of these to go, so try this again. Three and two. At least, hopefully, can do it for the rest of the XY packs and then swap back for Sun and Moon. We have a Combi, Sableye, Level Ball, Flareon, Reverse Volcarona, which is, yes it is, it's a reverse rare, and a regular rare clay doll. It's actually really cool artwork. That's a pretty, pretty neat looking regular rare. Gotta give it to it when it's a nice looking card. Moving on to our evolutions, which I think I'm like four or five reverse cards away from completing thanks to my friend Stata Pokemon adding another one into the binder on the weekend have a Nidoran, Poliwag, Grass Energy, Rotata. I did it! <sighs> no, that's it. I just need to be fired. But guys, you know, here we go, right in the middle of the opening because they totally, it was them. It wasn't me. I didn't do it. Put the Mega Blastoise EX in the wrong spot. Have a coughing, a revive. Here comes Team Rocket, Secret Rare, Bullpix, and a Mewtwo regular, reverse rare, regular, reverse rare. Oh, you know what? I just, I'm having one of those weeks. It's, it's just gonna, it's not even gonna be like one video. It's just gonna be all week where I'm gonna be all sorts of all over the place. And, uh, yeah, that's, here we go. Gotta get the good focus on that beautiful Mega Blastoise, because even though I messed up, that is still a nice looking card. Very beautiful. Oh, gosh. We're not even halfway through. How How is this a thing that I, like, can't do the pack trick? Why, why am I just incapable of the things? Anyway, we have a Machop. Tangla, Vulpix, a Fire Energy, Porygon, the Evolution Spray, Nidorino, Voltorb, Reverse Growlithe, and... Ooh, a Venusaur EX. At least we're getting some good pulls to make up for my fails. Good pulls to make up for my fails. Good stuff going on. And now, guys, we have our Sun and Moon. Four packs of sun. I'm really hoping for something good from... Maybe Forbidden Light here. Such an awesome set. Hmm. 
Okay. Just so hard to get your hands on packs from Forbidden Light these days. Have a Rock Rough, Gibble, La Bebe, Skido, a Psychic Energy, Spupa, Tyrant, Bonnie, Reverse Bundle B, and a regular rare Lycan Rock. Do do do. Oh, also, don't forget, on the weekend, we are going to be having a live stream on Sunday, March 17th, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come on out if you want to hang out and chat. Hopefully it'll hopefully it'll be a good time. Have a Magnemite, Skrilp, Furfru, a Fighting Energy, Raquinid, Metal Frying Pan, Spuba, Ooh, a Ar Arceus Prism Star, and a regular rare Buzzwool. Regular rare, regular rare. Oh, saving the best set for last. Lost Thunder. Two packs. Oh, I didn't actually realize Lost Thunder was in this box when I got it. So this is a very pleasant surprise. Very, very pleasant surprise. Get things set here. We have a Mareep, Wurmple, Jigglypuff, and Lola Meowth, Kepchu. A Lightning Energy, a Lonely Big Trio, Pinsir, Choice Helmet, Reverse Hopip, and a regular rare Primarina. Got the Primarina. Do, do, do. Such an interesting Pokemon. Down to our last pack of Lost Thunder. Ah, oh, okay. Last pack. Lost Thunder. Let's do this. We got this. We got this. Can we end off with one thing from Sun and Moon? Come on, Lost Thunder. Wave the magic wand. Hope for some last pack magic here. Because we have had some over the last little while, which has actually been pretty awesome. Patrisu, we have a Hoppip, Carbink, Blitzel. At least I'm remembering the pack trick when I get to the Sun and Moon sets. I don't know why I have such a hard time swapping between, like, the XY sets and... I don't, I don't know. I don't know. It's gonna really mess with me if they go back to, like, 3 and 2 for whatever series they do after Sun and Moon. Okay, we have a reverse Professor Elm's lecture, and we're ending off with a hollow Tapu Lele. So a Lele, a Island Guardian, to finish this Island Guardian GX box off. I think it's pretty fitting there. Just go ahead and gather the cards, get them sorted, and I will be right back. Alrighty, let's go with our recap here. We do have the two beautiful cards that come in the box, the Tapu Lele GX and Tapu Finny. Kind of would have been nice to not necessarily have the exact same alternate cards in this box as in the other premium collection box, but they're still really cool if, you know, you only wanted to get your hands on one of the two boxes. We do have the Mewtwo Reverse Rare, the Volcarona Reverse Rare, Tapu Lele Hollow, and Arceus Prism Star. Venusaur EX, and the beautiful Mega Blastoise EX has to be my favorite. I love these beautiful gold borders on the XY cards from this set. They just, ah, oh, the artwork, the coloring. You know I love these XY full arts. I love them actually way more than I love the Sun and Moon ones, just, just aesthetically wise. So really happy to have another one of these in the collection. So that's going to be my favorite pull for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a like, subscribe for more content. Make sure you hit that little bell to get notified every time I upload a new video. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.